This is a quick video on how to load multiple games off a USB on the C64 Mini. I promised that if an update ever came out that would allow you to easily load files off a USB that I would make a video on how to do it. And just yesterday a huge official update was released and I'm actually really impressed with what we are able to now do. I would have been happy to get an update where we can just load games off a list um, on a USB and we can do that but we can actually do so much more as well. Um, each of the games that you load have their own independent save states. You can save, um, there's four save slots and those save slots are actually saved onto your memory card so um, you can back them up on your computer. Um, so really quite impressive and a really great update that I have for you guys today. So first of all, I'll quickly show you guys where to get the update. Um, on the official website, it's the thec64.com. If you go up to this little drop down and go to upgrade, this will um, give you the file that you need to put on a USB. Um, it'll also give you a whole list of instructions and um, let you know what they have actually updated. There's a frequently asked questions section. Um, this little bit here is pretty good. We'll go to the, um, the file loader. This is what we're more or less downloading. And there's um, some supported file types. Uh, there are some settings. And there's a nice little guide here that talks you through it, but I'm gonna go over it with you anyway. But maybe you like to read some of this stuff because there's, like I said, this is a pretty big update and um, I wasn't even expecting an update as big as this. Um, I would have been, like I said, I've just been happy just to be able to play games, but we can do so much more and I would recommend you have a read list but if you purely want to um, just load games off a list then I'll cover that. Um, one other thing I'll just mention is um, the fast loader can be switched on and off and um, the C64 Mini as you can see here fast loads by default. If you have um, a ROM that's not loading for you it may be because it has a built in fast loader and it's kind of conflicting with the um, C64 Mini's fast loader. So you can actually turn off the fast loader if you need to and um, you just simply press the third uh, red button to do that. Back to uh, the upgrade page, simply download this file here. If you click on that, it will download. You then take this file and just drag it onto, I did it to a blank USB. Um, I think you can probably drag it into like a, a USB that has some stuff on it, but just to keep it nice and clean and simple, I put it onto a blank USB so there was nothing else on there. And this is the point where we uh, take our USB out of the computer and put it into the C64 Mini. So on the C64 Mini main screen, if you go to the little spanner icon and go down to system information and um, it says here that it's found the new firmware, uh, do you wish to upgrade and just hit apply? you will see this little loading screen. It doesn't take much time at all, but I will cut this animation out a little bit. Once loaded, you can see a new icon has been added to your um, homepage. We have this little USB. Now you won't have anything on, uh, well I didn't have anything on the USB because um, all I had was the update on it. So at this point, you simply take your USB out of the C64 Mini and just throw on um, as many games as you want basically I think it can hold up to 240 but then you have to then create um, separate folders but to me 240 games is more than enough I think that's pretty good compared to what we have had before so now with a bunch of games on my USB you can see I can just easily select any of these games that I want and uh, load up so I'll try Strider for now um, you go through the usual loading screens and you probably will have to bring up the virtual keypad if you don't have a keypad um, plugged in and uh, just go through it just as you would um, on a real C64 or an emulator. For Strider I had to use, um, uh, I had to just use a spacebar a few times just to get um, through a few different things. But eventually the game loads up, a couple more loading screens, it's after that fire. And here we have it, Strider, running just as good as it would um, on any emulator or um, on your proper Commodore. But one thing that really impressed me about this update is that it has built-in save states for each of the games. Like, not just four save states to choose overall, but like every game. So as you can see here, 
I've pulled up the save states for Strider. I don't have any saved at the minute. Um, and what I can do here is uh, I'll, I'll load up a different game just to show you that the save states are different. So all you do is go over to exit game very quickly and seamlessly, go down to your USB again, and this time I'm going to choose to play uh, Money on the Run's already on the system, so there's no point in why I, I just dragged in a bunch of my games. So I'll play uh, Doriath because it's not um, one of the games that's already built in. And uh, I just have to go through the usual loading screens here. Actually, it load up really quickly. I think that was the built-in uh, fast loaders uh, must have worked to my advantage there because there was no loading screens at all, really. But so uh, let me just cut to a part where I'm going to do the um, save states. So all you have to do, uh, just like in all the other games, bring up your little menu. As you can see, I have four uh, blank. Uh, states so I'm gonna, just going to jump up here and then bring up my menu again load up where I previously was and here you go so those four save states are just purely for Dryath and um, I can quit out right now and go and uh, load up a different game so here I've loaded up Flimbo's Quest and um, I'm going to do a save state in this game at the main screen and that way I don't have to worry about um, any loading at all. I can just like, the minute it starts up I can just load the um, save state and it just brings me right to the title screen. And another really cool thing about this update is now whenever you pull your USB stick out of the C64 Mini and put it into your computer, it will have created a new file called uh, the c 64 save and in here is all of your save files um, and it, like I think it's just because it generates like a thumbnail so you know where the save state is so here's my Doriath save and you can actually see the little thumbnail um, pixel perfect I might add which is I know really cool I just I like the way Commodore uses pixels like that um, and that gives you a little heads up of, oh yeah, I remember where, where I saved. So those can be backed up. You could uh, back them up and uh, put them back in at any time. So I just like the way that you can do that. Um, here is Flimbo's Quest saved at the dashboard, or the, or the, the home page, I guess you could call it, of the game. So um, that's a really quick overview. It's so simple that it probably didn't need a video on how to you know, explain how to do it. And if you want to know more, I would recommend you go to the website and read up on it. But I'm um, really happy with this update. You really shouldn't have a problem getting it to work. But if you do, then please feel free to leave a comment. I'm glad that it finally got the update that it um, deserves. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helped.